The following podcast is a production of the Podpie Network. Find and listen to our podcasts at thepodpienetwork.com or wherever you enjoy your podcast. The Podpie Network, a family of inspired podcasts. I was watching a TV show uh, recently, and there was a woman, she vowed that she would never get into another relationship because men are crazy, messy, blah, blah, blah. She said she had three failed relationships in a total of six months. Yeah, you heard right. Three and six. She said none of the men understood her. They didn't get along with the family. So she said she's done with men and she's just going to focus on her career. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. You are now rocking with Jay Riggins, and this is the Unapologetic Relationship Podcast, brought to you by the great folks at the Popfire Network. This week's episode is going to start a bit of a conversation, and I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, but hey, we'll see. Nevertheless, we must pay some bills first, and we'll be right back. You definitely don't want to miss this one. What's going on, my people? And welcome back to the Unapologetic Relationship Podcast. I am your host, Jay Riggins, and I just want to do a little house cleaning right now and to say thanks to all of those that have been rocking with me since the beginning of the podcast. Thanks to all the support of my book. Thanks to all the people that spread the word about the podcast um, and everything that's going on with the Pod Pirate Network. And please check out all of the podcasts at the Pod Pirate Network. They're, they're amazing. Um, you know. We support each other over here. So please, please do that. Please support them as well as the Unapologetic Relationship Podcast. Continue to spread the word. Uh, We're just going to get better and better, folks. You know, that's just how we do. Um, I think it's time to dive into the topic. (laughs) It's going to be a good one. So before the break, I was talking about a lady who said that, um, you know, she's just going to focus on her career. You know, she was done with men. I heard that a lot throughout my life uh, on both sides. You know, women that were done with men and men that were done with women and whatever. You know, you know how things go. Um, But anyway, I've heard that a lot. People, you know, get frustrated with their relationships and they say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm good. But is that the way it, it should really be? Are we meant to be alone? That's the good question. It depends on who you ask. Some of us will say, yeah, you know, and some of us will say no. I, I mean, I believe in God and Jesus. So Adam and Eve existed. That's just my opinion. I don't think we're meant to be alone. But then again, like I said, I'm not. And this is no um, punch to any other religion. You know what I mean? I just believe what I believe. You believe what you believe. And, you know, we go from there. But um, is it fair to just say I'm through after a failed relationship? And let's be clear. She says she had three failed relationships in six months. <laughs> That's a lot. So some people might not be a lot. <laughs> I know some, some of y'all rolling stones out there. You know, y'all get it in. But for the average person, three relationships in six months is a lot. Okay. And it's especially if you have kids at home. Because here's the thing, you don't want to be bringing every time Dick and Harry to your house when you got kids. They really don't need to be seen. You know, three or four boyfriends or friends, you know what I'm saying? Because what's going to happen is they're going to start calling Tommy Billy. (laughs) And his name ain't Billy. And they're going to start questioning, well, dang, how many... How many men did you bring through this house? And your kids are going to be looking crazy too. Because they're going to start thinking it's normal. And I know we don't think that far ahead. Some of us. We say, oh, kids, hey. 
Kids are kids. No, kids, kids absorb everything and then they become an adult. But, you know, that's another story for another day. Um, like I said, I just, I just don't think that we're meant to be alone. And I'm personally focusing on your career. You can't do that and have a relationship at the same time. I'm going to be honest with you. I am tired of women and men. And I'm like I said, this, so I'm not jumping on men because this was a woman that was on the radio. That was on the TV show. I'm sorry. Um, but this, this goes to everybody. This goes to men and women. But I'm going to just stick with the women right now. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing certain women say, I'm going to focus on my career. Right. I'm not going to focus on me and I'm going to focus on my career. You can't do both. You can't make money and have a relationship because people do it every day. You know, um, I, I don't know if you know, I don't know if you've got the memo, but people literally do it every day. They go to work, they have relationships, they raise kids. Uh, they have hobbies. They do a lot. And like, did you get that? They had a relationship in in the middle of that. So I don't really understand. I think it's a cop out. And I think it's, you're selling yourself short by saying, hey, I'm going to just focus on my job. (sighs) Okay. You know, and you think when you tell people that, that it makes sense to them, like they're just going to walk away and be like, oh yeah, cool. She just, you know. She's just focusing on her job. Now they're talking behind, you, behind your back. Fellas, they're talking behind, behind your back. It just sounds crazy. Like you can't have a relationship and focus on your job too. It's either your relationships aren't working out for you or you're just not good at it. <laughs> just, just be honest. And you need to make better choices or better, uh, especially better choices of who you pick. You know, um, that's just what it is. You know, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. You might not be good at it. So then therefore you're now you're masking the situation by talking about, I'm just going to focus on my job. People not stupid. And for all of y'all people out there, as I've heard it, family, friends, strangers, oh, I'm just going to focus on my job. It's just like the people that say, hey, I'm taking a break from Facebook. Who needs to know that you're taking a break from Facebook? Just take a break. (laughs) You don't have to announce it. Just take a break. You know, it's it's real simple. But anyway. um, And then I've. uh, Let's talk about the folks that. uh, Say, how could I say this? I'm gonna try and same sex. I'm just gonna be blunt. I'm gonna try the same sex because the opposite sex didn't work out, right? I mean, this is my podcast, so I pretty much say what I want. So you know, it's gonna be some folks that don't don't agree. And it's gonna be some folks that agree, but it is what it is. You know, change the channel, change the different different podcasts. But anyway. Um, do you not think that there are crazy, manipulative, manipulative, is that, you know, my English is not the greatest (laughs) and I got two masters, but anyway, do you not think that the other same sexes have these similar problems? I've heard this one too. I've heard people say, well, I'm going to try, you know, a dude, I'm going to try to do because, uh, you know, women in work. I've heard women say, well, I'm gonna try the opposite sex. I'm going to try another woman. I mean, let me try the same sex, another woman, uh, because the opposite sex didn't work. Let me ask you something. Are you that way? 
or are you pretending or because there's some people that's born that way. And I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, there's some people that those are their real feelings. That's what they go through every day. A man that feels like he should be a woman, a woman that should feel like he should be a man. And it's not for me to judge or say who's wrong or right. That's, that's their feelings. You know, I'm a heterosexual male. Um, but I can't speak for, you know, homosexuals or whatever. But I do know some, and I do know that that's how they feel every day. They wake up. But for somebody to just switch in the ninth inning, is that, is that what's going on in these streets? Is that logical? I dated a man. He wasn't no good. So now I'm going to try another woman. And I'm a woman. Let's be clear. Do not think you're going to escape foolishness because you're going to try the same sex. It sounds stupid. Sound crazy. You sound crazy telling it to people. Well, I'm going to try, you know, ain't no good men out here. And, I'm, and that's another thing. St- stop using that stupid statement too. there's no good men out here. You know, what the, you know what the population is on this earth? I don't even know. I ain't even did no research. I'm just out here free balling. Um, I don't know. But I think it's a lot. I think it's a lot where you can, you know, you single, you can have 10 each. You know what I'm saying? You can have 10 on standby. It's that many. <laughs> so all of this, there ain't no good men out there. Where are you looking? And there's a chapter, and that's a chapter in my book. And this is piggybacking off of my book. And please pick up what a man really wants to say about relationships, revised and unapologetic by Jay Riggins. It's a good read. And it's relevant. It's it's gonna be relevant for the rest. That's that's a book that's gonna be relevant for the rest of our lives. You know what I'm saying? It's not a seasonal book, it's a life book. And it talks about all types of uh, issues and relationships. So, but this is one of them, how to find the right man or woman. Where are you looking? You know what I mean? Like, where are you looking? If you want this, if you want a certain type of man or man, if you want a certain type of woman, wouldn't you look at places that they hang out? I know a lot of people that avoid these places. They say they want a good man. That works out, but they don't go to the gym. Did you get that? I want a man that works out. I want a man that's a health nut. I want a man that's this and that, blah, blah, blah. They ain't ain't going to no juice store. They ain't going to no gyms. Where do you think you're going to find that man that's a health nut? At the chocolate factory? Let me, let me take that back. <laughs> I don't want no, no parts of that. But anyway, at, at the candy store, in in the aisle for the chip at the for the chips at the grocery store, where are you gonna find these dudes at? You saying you want a health nut, but you're not looking in none of these places. You say you want a man, uh, you know, with some finances. You don't necessarily have to be rich, but I don't want somebody that's well off. But you're not going to these places. You know what I'm saying? You you going to these little ratchet clubs where, you know, somebody's spending their last little, (laughs) their little paycheck, popping bottles, looking like they got money. And after the club, they ain't got a dollar in the bank. That's where you're going to try to find these men. You're not going places where there's businessmen, or there's CEOs, there's entrepreneur, entrepreneurs. You're going to little ratchet places with a, with a dude with a gold watch on and some gold teeth. 
You know what I'm saying? And oh, he got money. He in VIP. Nah. <laughs> he fronting. And I'm not even saying and this ain't a young thing. You know, a lot of people say, oh, that's the that's the young people. They go to the clubs and, and you know, look for go to the VIP and look for a man. Nah, so some of y'all 40, 50 year olds too. I know some. I ain't putting you out there. I ain't saying no names, but I know some. Y'all do it too. And men do it too. That ain't no, that's not wealth. That's not even riches. You don't know what these people got in the bank because they popping bottles somewhere. So getting back to them, getting off, getting off subject. You need to look in the places that these men exist. Don't avoid these places and then say that there's no good men or there's no good women out here. Well, you're not even looking in the right places. And then to say, I'm just going to focus on my career or I'm going to, I'm going to dabble on the other side. You know what I mean? I'm going to mess with the same sex because I can't find anybody the opposite sex to please me or make me happy. What? How long have you been dating? How long have you been looking for? You know what I mean? Like, what number made you get to this point? Was it the 20th person? The 20th failed relationship? The 25th? What made you get that dram- dramatic? Like, is there, a, is there a certain number? That's really what I want to know. So we can spread the word. Like, <laughs> 25 is a killer. It made people do some crazy things. Um, I just want to give a shout out to my single folks out there because I used to be you. And as much as some of you might front like it's a good, the good life, I know it's really not to some of y'all. Some of y'all want a man, some of y'all want a woman, and you just don't know how, how to go about it. So you make excuses. Excuses is not going to keep you warm at night. Excuses is not going to sit on the other end of the couch and laugh at these st- stupid movies or, or hold you when a scary movie is on. These excuses ain't going to do that. So you can lie and you can front to everybody out there that you don't need no man. I don't need no woman. I'm good by myself. We know that ain't true. Everybody wants somebody. It's just a matter of finding that person. A lot of y'all run people off too. Let's be clear about that. A lot of y'all think y'all stuff is straight. And it ain't. And y'all run people off. It's some stuff that you need to fix. We all have problems and issues that we need to fix. And it's all about just working on it. But don't make excuses. You... (laughs) I've seen men and women say they're looking for somebody or going, or going on a date. Let's, let's, be, let's be clear. They're going on a date, right? They ain't got their hair done. They ain't got no makeup on. The dude ain't got no haircut. He got some white shoes with scuff marks on them. If you're looking for someone, Make a good first impression. Well, she ain't got to be with you. If you make a good, if some of them dates that you had and some of them men and women that y'all meet, you made a good first impression, you wouldn't have to be talking about, nah, I'm going to be batting for the other team. Just because the, the opposite sex didn't, I'm going to be batting for the same team because the opposite sex didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? So, Make yourself presentable. I know, I know people, I've known people, I know people and I've known people that will go on a first date looking like they just took out the trash and then expect <laughs> that person to call them back. Yeah, he ain't called me. No, you know, I don't know what's wrong, you know. I told him I had a daughter and, you know, so maybe that, maybe that scared him. I'm not going to scare him off. Your wig cocked to the side scared him off. (laughs) 
Yo, them butterfly eyelashes where one was sitting on your cheek. That scared them off. Dudes, them, them, them two small shoes you had on and that tight sweater scared them off. <laughs> be, be, pre, be presentable. We make a bunch of excuses when it's really us. We make a bunch of, when we, when we come back and we tell people about the date, and they think, girl, how did it go? Yeah, he ain't seen too interested. All he wanted to talk about was himself. And he's self-absorbed. And ooh, 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 ooh. When you're really lying, this was a good dude, but you ain't bring nothing to the table. You ain't bring no conversation. You look crazy. You sounded crazy. But when you come back and tell your friends, it's, it was all him. You blame it on him. And that ain't the case for a lot of these situations. Fellas, that ain't the case for a lot of these situations. Yeah, man, she, she, she a gold digger. All she talked about was money. Woo, 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 woo. Ain't nothing wrong with talking about money. I like money. I don't know about y'all. But what you bring to the table with your two little sweat on <laughs> and your ashy elbow bolts. <laughs> With your, with your hair looking like Method Man, he di- did in his Mary J. Blige video for all y'all old heads out there. When he had half braided and a half was the afro. No, it wasn't, it wasn't the fact that she was talking about money. It was the fact that you didn't have nothing to bring to the table. So she talked about something just to make the time go by. Let's be real. As y'all can tell, I'm just getting towards the end of these podcasts. <laughs> Later on, you know what I mean? Down the... Down the line in these podcasts, I'm just going to be real. Uh, Kid gloves off because relationships are failing right now. Especially in the black community. Brown community. They're failing. There's a lot of single people. A lot of single people that don't need, don't have to be single. They're single because they lie to themselves and to others about what's really going on or what they really want or their true feelings, whatever. It's okay because it's somebody for everybody. That's the name of this podcast. There's someone for everyone. All these people in this world, you're trying to tell me you can't find nobody? At some point, you become the common denominator. When it's everybody else. Yeah, this person was this and that person did this to me and that person did this to me and that person did this to me. It gets to some point where you got to be. <laughs> you got to be thinking it's you. You have to. You done went through 10 people and they all treated you the same. They all gave you problems or gave you issues. No, maybe you are the problem. Let's be real. Maybe you're the problem. They ain't the problem. And I'm not saying that they didn't have their flaws or faults, but maybe you are the main problem. It's some stuff that you need to fix and stop lying and stop pretending and stop acting like it's everybody but you. And when you fix those problems, you don't have to run to the same sex. So you don't have to run. And I'm going I'm to even throw race out there. I don't have no problem with I don't care who, what color dude or, or woman you date. I don't care if they purple. As long as they make you happy, good for you. But let's be clear. Don't think you're trying to escape a black dude to, and go date a white dude and think everything is going to be peaches and cream. You do know there's crazy white people, too. Just like there's crazy black people or brown people. You know, crazy don't come in just one package. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I ain't messing with no more brothers. I've heard that too. I ain't messing with no more brothers. Mm -mm. Nope. And then you go over and get a white boy. He beat the mess out of you. (laughs) And take the... 
and you you come home all the furniture going all because I I know some I know some issues that happen like that similar to that where a person wanted to date another race because they were they thought that they stereotyped all black people all black guys like they were crazy and they were controlling and they were this and they were that so you yeah, went over there and dabbled with a white guy with no problem I don't care who you date. I don't care about nothing about interracial. That's not my that's not my issue. I don't care nothing about interracial relationships. But I do know, common sense wise, don't think you're because you had a bad relationship with a black dude and you go over here with a white dude, everything is gonna be hunky dory. There's crazy white people too. And they might turn not turn it on right away. <laughs> it might be a couple months before they turn it on. Fellas. You go, you, ah, you mess with no more black women. They control it. I heard that all my life. I've been raised by black women. You know what I'm saying? I know they got strong personalities. I'm married. I've been married to one for 20 years now. Over, We've been together for 22, married for 20. I know we black women have strong personalities, just like black men. But um, so do some white women and Asian women and Hispanic women. Um... Don't think you don't think you escaping the crazy or the the vindictive or the whatever. Because you hop on over to another race, you'll be surprised. You hop over to the same sex, you'll be surprised. <laughs> I, I shock myself sometimes. I think certain things, but I'm a Sagittarius, so it comes out. And I, this is my own podcast, folks. So it's going to come out. And trust me, down the line, it's going to get a little more bold and a little more bold because I got to gently bring you guys in. But at the end of the day, my goal is to help fix relationships. That's my purpose. That's why I created this podcast. In conclusion, I really do feel like there is someone for everyone. If you like carrots in your ice cream, there's a crazy person out there with those same taste buds. If you root for a team that's 0-52, there's a person that's rooting for that same team. If your house is full of cats, the person that loves 50 cats. 51 might be too much, but 50 is cool. I just feel like many of us sell ourselves short by making excuses as to why they don't need a man or a woman. Girl, I'm just going to focus on my job. As if you don't want a significant other to celebrate your promotion with. Because at the end of the day, your family and friends that you share the news with is going to go about their lives. And forget that you even got promoted. I'm just saying. If you want to be single, this episode won't change that, I'm sure. But if you don't want to be single, please rewind this episode. Also, don't forget to pick up my book, What a Man Really Wants to Say About Relationships, Revised and Unapologetic, on Amazon, Barnes and & Nobles, and my website with the podcast information will be included in the show notes. And be sure to keep listening to the podcast every other Saturday. The Unapologetic Relationship Podcast, that is, with Jay Riggins. Every other Saturday and everywhere you get your podcasts. And like I said, I'm here to build relationships and not break them. If you don't do anything else, remember to be unapologetically you. Yeah.